Let us continue playing Star Ocean 2 when we last left off through there. And now that we've got through there, we can actually now unequip our mud boots. Who is actually wearing the mud boots? Oh yeah, you are. Right, so we'll unequip those for the optimal iron greaves. Because we can. And the reason that's important is because battle. Oh, it's these guys again. Oh, enemies. Yes, but we want to save our mana here because we're about to encounter a boss battle and they can't hurt me anyway. Starlight. That being said, Celine just goes and wastes mana. Still, it should be okay. Let's try and build up a few more that so we can do some us. more headhunters if required. They're only getting one back. Ugh. We'll probably be concentrating on our restorative stats at some page and... A figure walks from a darkness oh, behind us. There you are. What? It was a betrayal. Aren't you supposed to be guarding the elder's house? I've taken care of things over there, so I thought I'd go into the forest. Have you found the children? Well, I hope so. So all the bandits have been tracked down and killed then? Oh, not at all. Huh? In fact, they've never been healthier. Zombie? What are you trying to say? The only person getting killed around here is your father. My father? You, you didn't! You put far too much trust in your friends. It was a trifling matter to disguise myself as one of your friends and steal the book. You're the boss of the bandits. How dare you lay hands on my father? You fiend! Taking advantage of us! I'm gonna make you pay for this! So be it. Allow me to reveal my true self. So, if you had stolen the book and that was your only real objective at this point, why did you come back into the forest to... Oh, whatever. The enemy, is it? The Be true careful. form! Ha! Ha! Got you. Oh, he can't actually hurt us! That's... <laughs> Whoops, I'm a bit over-leveled for this then. Ha! Yeah, I'm over-leveled for that fight. Um, That's one for us. For he hit us once, did zero damage. Okay, whoops. I didn't think I was over leveled, but yeah, maybe I am. And also. That stone. It looks like the one Alan had. Indeed. Celine, let's get back to the village. I'm worried about Egress. But what about the children? No. The safety of the children is our first priority. Celine! She is taking it rather well, I'll be honest. I don't want anyone else to die today. Wouldn't saving the children be the one thing to do in order to prevent that from happening? Celine. Ah, Dias. Claude! Reina! What is that? The symbologist that was at the Elder's house. The real him, that is. That was the bandit's boss, wasn't it? What are you doing here, Reyna? Saving the children. We just rescued the children from the house they were being held in. Really? You took this guy by yourself? Pretty much, actually. <laughs> That's right. With some help from Celine, of course. I see. Reyna wasn't lying after all. What do you mean? The day we cross swords may not be so far away. I look forward to it. I apologize for my rudeness earlier. You probably wouldn't be a drag on me after all. Hmm. Interesting. That Diaz is not a um, playable character in um, Claude's arc, so... What's he talking about, Reyna? 
ideas. Time is of the essence. We must return to the village. You're right. I believe he just automatically cuts us out, so we don't need to re equip the mud boots and everything. Huzzah! Time saving! I hope Egress is alright. He had taken several powerful spells at point blank range. It'd be a miracle if he opens his eyes again. I'm sure he'll recover if Raina gets to him in time. Oh, yes, with her healing spells. Hmm. Indeed. Such power is unheard of in our village. Despite the fact I'm fairly certain Selene does learn heal at some stage, I'm... Egress has regained consciousness. Oh. Has he? I think he'll be fine once he gets some rest. Well then, I'll go see how he's doing. Meanwhile, I shall loot everything that isn't nailed down. So that symbologist was the real culprit all along. There was no way for us to know since he disguised himself as one of the victims. I'm really impressed though. You defeated the bandit boss all by yourself. Plus Celine. Not, by not myself. that she did a lot Celine in that battle admittedly, but still. Sorry, I'll try not to talk but over even people. Even so, Diaz was really impressed. I'm sure his skills are still way beyond anything I have. That's the impression I get, anyway. Claude? It's easy to lash out against someone, but it's hard to accept them as an equal. If he was praising me, even just a little, that just means he's that much better than I am with a sword. Given that you've been using a sword for how long? I think I'm starting to understand what you see in him, Reyna. Yeah, um, just on a, on a side, you've used your sword for, what, a week at this point in the game? Why do you have to be that way, Claude? Diaz is like the big brother I never had. You're getting the wrong idea, and I don't like it. Oh, really? We're here right now because we're investigating the Sorcery Globe, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? The Sorcery what now? Reyna. What? That stone that Alan had with him. Never mind. I hope you find your mother. Thank you. Now let's go and see what we can do over here. Probably not that much. I want to loot things. There we go. Ah! More ranks needed. Yes. Oh, and we get a sapphire. Throw him walking around. So, just looking at skills quickly. Um, Ray just jumped another 100 skill points. I don't know whether that's supposed to happen or what, but an extra 100 skill points. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Let's go then for... Let's actually massively raise our cooking skills, actually. So, cooking up to 10. Knife up to there. Keen... I might as well max out this, actually, as much as I can. So that's a level 9 in cooking now. She should be really, really good at that. Um, what are her other talents? Taste, composition, and listening. We don't have the effort skill just yet. Appraising, compounding, survival. Might be worth doing that. And just finish that off. So huzzah, we've um, spent a load of skill points. <laughs> I didn't think she... Oh, well, maybe that's just from just doing all of the other quests in the background, but still, 100 skill points is a lot. Um, thinking about this, I should really... Come on. I thought somebody offered to... Um... I don't know, maybe we'll just have to leave. I'm sure she'll follow us, but, you know... Out we go. Another sapphire. Hold it. There we go. 
I've been playing Phoenix Wright versus Ace Attorney, so yes, shout that's the wrong way to shout hold this, by the way. Celine, I wish you wouldn't just leave me here. But what about Egress? Oh, my father? He's fine. I must say, your healing spell is really something, Reyna. I just did what I could. Well, we need to get going. The sun's about ready to set. The sun never sets except that one time. <laughs> Why don't you stay over for the night? I need to repay you two for all that you've done. Are you sure it's okay? Oh, come on. Are you forgetting that you two are the heroes of the day? Heroes, huh? Of course. To whom are we going to express our gratitude if you two just run off like this? Express it to... A friend computer. It, it sounds didn't like a good say idea. where he was going, did he? I think you'll find him soon enough. He may not like dealing with others, but he causes chaos everywhere he goes regardless. True. <laughs> now then, you two are going back to my place. Come on, come on! Shove. <laughs> and thus we stay for the evening. Thank you. That was wonderful. Oh, not at all. I'm just happy you enjoyed it. Thankfully, you weren't trying to feed me enough for five people, but... Are you feeling all right? Fit as a fiddle. And it's all thanks to Reyna. By the way, I hear you're on your way to Harley. That's correct. We intend to travel across the sea to Lacour and find passage there to the land of El. The land of El? Is there a problem? And the you major where you're going over dinner. You're after the sorcery globe, aren't you? Yes, we are. Yes. Could I ask you for your thoughts on the Sorcery Globe, Egris? This is just my personal opinion, but I believe it might be some form of energy entity. Energy entity? Yes. And if that were the case, then perhaps whatever energy it's emitting is affecting all the animals in the area and turning them into monsters. Does energy work like that? Not really, but carry on. <laughs> well, it's just one of many possibilities. Do you have any other thoughts? I suppose the easiest explanation is that it's simply a normal meteorite. I think we can rule that out. But that doesn't really explain all the phenomena we've had in the ensuing weeks. Are you sure you want to proceed into L immediately after landing on the core? I'm not so sure that's a good idea. What do you mean, Father? Why wouldn't it be? You're working on far too little information right now. My suggestion would be to gather more intelligence in the core before traveling to L. There's a fine line between courage and recklessness. Ah! Uh -huh. Do you understand? But we want to try and finish the game, but okay. Certainly. That sounds like a good idea. There is well, a lot to do on the you're leaving early tomorrow, so. right? Let's get to bed soon. I can smell something whenever you're around. No comments. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I haven't bathed lately. No, no, that's not what I meant. I suppose it's my symbologist's instincts kicking in. But I'm starting to understand why everyone thought you were the hero. How do you... what? I don't have a sort of light! Oh, not at all, Egress. I'm nowhere near the all-powerful hero people think that I am. It's just that, you know, 
Reyna and Celine are giving their all out there every day. I'd feel bad if I didn't try at least as hard as they do. Reyna and Celine. I personally would have stopped at Reyna. Oh, uh... <laughs> I think you're much more than you think you are. That power of Reyna's doesn't bother you at all, and that's the way it should be. Well, I'd better not keep you up any longer. You should get some sleep for the trip tomorrow. Yay, yeah, sleep! sleep. Thanks for seeing us off like this. We could have escaped out the other side and that would have been this closer. You have been but, a great you know. help to me. Accompanying you to the village outskirts is the least I can do. But give us a load of money. Well, time to get going. Take care of yourselves on the road. Oh, actually, we're not quite if done with this area too just yet. Dangerous. I don't want you to risk your lives. There's nothing to worry about, Mother. Besides, I have Reyna and Claude with me. Then we shall place our faith in them. Where do you think we should aim for after landing on Lacour? Lacour Kingdom should be your first stop, I suppose. It's the biggest country on the continent. By which you You'll mean be able city. to find all the latest information, not to mention a wider selection of weapons. Yeah, the section's actually quite wide. There are four weapons to shops there. The book that the elder had trouble comprehending. Linga? A town in Lacour. It's famous for its wealth of scholars. Linga is on the southern tip of Lacour. If I were you, however, I'd head for Lacour Castle first. Thank you for everything. It's time to hit the road. We're not blessed with time. Oh, we are blessed right. with as much time Off as we want. Cool. Not blessed with time, but you still made us stay the night. Anyway, we're not done with this continent just yet, actually, because when we get to um, whatever this place is actually called, I forget, there should be a little event taking place. Not going to private action, because I don't think it's that. Have you heard about the twin-headed dragon making the rounds in Salva? Spooky. In Salva? Ah, yes, the dragon in Salva. I've been hearing reports of dragon sightings for a while now, but I guess it's not just a rumor. Great. First Alan and now this? Well, let's go slay a dragon. Alan? Who would that be? <laughs> We have been talking about it. Do you know any more about this dragon? Well, apparently they're trying to find someone to slay the monster for them. Of course, that announcement made about a million people head for Salva, so the problem might already have been solved by now. Or oh, the dragon has had a lot of food delivered to it. Weird. I'd kind of like to find out more about this. Well, either way, you won't find me going near the Salva mines anytime soon. Besides, you guys wouldn't stand a chance against a dragon. Challenge accepted, sir. I mean, what? Going by D&D &D logic, level 19, 16, 17, we could have a go at a, um... I tell you, if I were ten years younger, that dragon would have been toast by now. Not a chance of it. So, we're going to head to Salva, and we're going to face off against a dragon, and in the process, recruit... A new character. Probably the best supporting warrior in the game. With the exception of There's no maybe way one, it, but guess. unfortunately if we, we go for this careful. guy we can't get her. But as I've already mentioned, she comes with um, she comes with somebody else as well, which kind of makes her less useful. I didn't even get to fight! Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. Sad face, I didn't even get to do anything. So anyway, I'm going to work my way over there, and next time, more Star Ocean 2. Until then.